Hello, everybody. Welcome back. I am Patrick Lally. You're here on Sioux Falls Live. Once again, one of my favorite places in the bowels of City Hall. This week with Mark Cotter, uh, Public Works Director for the City of Sioux Falls, which is a title that I'm sure draws great acclaim at cocktail parties. <laughs> People are like, oh, I want to talk to the Director of Public Works about right. some sewer problems I'm having. Yes, thanks for having me. Yeah, no problem. Um, so the, the news recently is, and uh, uh, you did a presentation to the council yesterday about the, uh, we got some increases coming for a bunch of different fees uh, for utilities. Yeah. Um, and without going into all the nitty gritty of sewer, um, when I look at all this, the thing I, the, the common theme is always growth, 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 right? Growing city, you need a lot of different things. But I, I think one of the things that people will look at right away is water rates, right? So why do we need to have an increase in water rates? Big picture. Certainly. Um, well, water is just uh, like the other uh, four enterprise funds that we highlighted where they're all self-funded. Uh, and so the revenue requirements to fund everything from the operations, maintenance, the equipment needs, and the capital needs um, come from uh, those rate revenues. We are growing uh, from a customer base, but we've, um, you know, from time to time, we have to routinely review the revenue requirements. And we've seen cost escalation just like everyone has in the last uh, recent years. Um, we've highlighted that, you know, just treatment chemicals alone have gone up almost 60%. And we could go into a whole list of other operational costs that have gone up. And mm -hmm. so we want to make sure that we have the rate revenue so we can continue to deliver the service that our customers have come to expect, um, but also um, be looking to the future for growth as well. Um, it's not just growth. Um, you know, we've already have, we have a mature city that has, you know, it's 81 square miles. There's a lot of infrastructure in the ground that we have to continually invest in and um, there's there's a large amounts of our capital plan that go into investing in the mature parts of the city along with um, uh, positioning the city for growth so um, really it's just to make sure that we can have the revenue requirements to meet the current customers needs and uh, prepare for the future customers yeah and i'm going to put a bunch of details about the mm -hmm. different rate breakdowns and what it means for people in because mm -hmm. you've supplied a lot of that information they're, they're not huge increases, right? I mean, we were talking about there's, there's single digit percentage increases each year, mm -hmm. but overall people might, they're going to, they're going to feel it. Um, I think that one of the, uh, the sort of, uh, I don't know if it's a philosophical position, but one of the things that Sioux Falls does is you pay a base rate and then you start paying based on your use. Yeah. Right. And, and it's graduated. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's sort of like a, a, I don't want to call it an income tax, but it's graduated in that way in that if you start using a lot of water, you pay more per unit for that water. You don't want to pay more for water, use less water. That's right. And you in direct um, relation to that. And then the nice thing is, is if you use less water, that'll translate to um, a lower wastewater bill as well. Uh, the city of Sioux Falls wrote its first conservation program, I think back in 2003, and has since um, we save over a billion gallons of water every year because we've we've um, worked with our customers to change out thousands of um, what we call high flow toilets. Um, you know, it's a device in your house that you probably use ten times a day, um, and some may smile to that. But at the end of the day, we want to make sure that we stretch that resource as far as possible. So there's there's always ways that people can go into their existing fixtures. And um, we may have a rebate for that so they can drive their water usage down, which will drive their water bill down and translate to a lower wastewater bill. So, um, yeah, City of Sioux Falls, we know we're, um, we want to stretch this resource out as long as possible. There's a lot of national stories about um, just the water woes. Mm -hmm. We're fortunate that we're not there, but we also want to make sure that the people that sit in our seats um, after us are also in a really good position to uh, manage these utilities and stretch the resources. And at the end of the day, provide the lowest possible cost to our customers. You know, and, and I, it, water is a good thing to talk about because it, 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 it's one of those fundamental things, but it wasn't that long ago that we were on in danger of not having enough water and had even more strict conservation measures. Mm -hmm. um, 
that that's a message it seems now is starting to get lost a little bit mm -hmm. conservation is a key to water use but even with when we're talking about uh, the landfill and tipping fees don't throw stuff away right, right? i mean we waste 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 mm -hmm. and we pay for the waste right um how do we are are we do we need to reinstall some deeper conservation messaging not necessarily restrictions but messaging um because yeah we got more lewis and clark water coming but it's not an unlimited resource. Everybody wants that water. Mm -hmm. How do we message that? Is it time to ratchet that up again? Well, I think South Dakotans, uh, they understand the word conservation. They've been, you know, we've been conserving um, for as long as we've been a state. But I do think that um, every time we bring forward a, a, a rate package like this, and the last time we brought a rate package forward was in 2019, and that set rates for 2020 through 2023, it does, um, if you will, kind of refresh the, the discussion. It gives us a chance to reemphasize we've got conservation programs. Um, we've got, um, you know, uh, landfill weight rates. We require the haulers to have um, basically um, pay-as-you-throw uh, rates. So if you're using a small container, you should be paying less than someone that's using the largest container. Mm -hmm. And so, uh, but yeah, I think that um, any opportunity that we can um, share to conserve um, is, is a good message for us. And uh, on the landfill note, our single stream recycling process is, uh, is a, a big plus for keeping things out of the landfill. It is a big plus. And then also uh, household hazardous waste and, um, you know, wood waste. You know, we've mm -hmm. got Poet in the region that uses um, all the wood waste that we can grind and other partners in the area. Um, yes, yeah, so there's just, there's a, there's a, there's always a larger story to tell. Um, with the competing um, interests of everyone um, and the information that they get. Mark Cotter, Public Works Director for the City of Sioux Falls. Thank you very much for being with me for a few minutes. I know you're a busy man. You're welcome. Thank you for coming. And the message, people, conserve. Just don't throw everything away. It's costing you. It's costing your children. We'll see you. Awesome. Thanks Thank you, for Mark. coming by.